Mr. Chancellor, Your, Your Excellency, thank you as always for uh, the tremendous and gracious hospitality that uh, we always have when we're here uh, in Berlin. Uh, we meet today in extremely difficult times, uh, but it is important that, that we do meet um, as we work all together to end the uh, extremely tragic and dangerous situation unfolding in Gaza. Thousands of innocent civilians have been lost, uh, Palestinian lives, Israeli lives, these are sons, these are daughters, these are mothers, fathers, husbands, and wives. Many more lives are at risk. Hundreds of thousands have no access to food, water, electricity, and other basic services. This is unacceptable on all levels, legal and human. This year is already the bloodiest year for Palestinians and Israelis in recent memory. It will get much worse unless we stop this war and the human catastrophe it is creating. And stop it, we must. We must all stand against all forms of violence and with its victims, no matter their identity, nationality, or religion. And Your Excellency, the whole region is at the brink of falling into the abyss that this new cycle of death and destruction is pushing us towards. The threat of this war expanding is real. The cost this will bring on all of us is too much to bear. All our efforts are needed to make sure we don't get there. And we must immediately, as you pointed out, uh, Your Excellency, get humanitarian supplies. We must protect civilians, international humanitarian law, and our shared human values, indeed our common humanity, are clear on the obligation to protect civilians and in condemning targeting the innocent. We condemn the killing of civilians on both sides, the whole world must do so. Our moral compass has to encompass all to be moral. Your Excellency, the way forward demands political and not only security solutions. And restoring a meaningful political process that can take us to peace on the basis of the two-state solution is the only path to a secure and safe future for Palestinians, the Israelis, and equally as important for all of us in the region. The challenge is enormous, but our will to realize it must be unwavering for the sake of all our peoples who have suffered enough war, enough pain, and loss. For the sake of the innocent victims who fell and continue to fall since this cycle of violence erupted over 10 days ago. Your Excellency, your role is crucial for the stability of the region. Your support for Jordan has been unwavering, and as you've mentioned, over the past 70 years of diplomatic relations, we have had an ability to build an unshakable foundation of exemplary cooperation. And despite the crises, the conflict, and the regional and global challenges, this remains constant. Your support has been instrumental to our development efforts, and we are highly appreciative of your continued commitment. We have just concluded, as His Excellency said, a round of very productive discussions to explore opportunities for advancing our cooperation in energy, water, trade, vocational training, and industry. And our countries are preparing to take a major step in bolstering cooperation in human capital with the planned launch of the Jordan German uh, Center for Labor Mobility in Jordan to better equip Jordanians seeking job opportunities. We're also deeply appreciative of Germany's leading role in supporting refugees, as you said, Your Excellency. This is especially important for Jordan, where refugees make up over a third of our population. Germany remains a leader in offering and galvanizing support out of a deep awareness that standing by refugees and their host communities is a global moral imperative and a shared responsibility. Your Excellency, I hope that we will meet again soon uh, under better circumstances. Again, I wanted to thank you for the support that we get, not only from you, the German government, but the German people. Um, and I thank you for the generosity that you always show us and hope to see you in our country in the near future. Thank you, Shun.